New legislation will be introduced in the United States to ensure all criminal records are entered into a national database following Sunday's massacre at a Texan church. 26 people were killed and 20 others injured, 10 of them critically, following Devin Patrick Kelly's rampage. Kelly had been discharged from the Air Force in 2012 following a domestic violence incident, but the details were never recorded, therefore no red flags were raised when he went on to purchase guns. They should have been raised. It comes as a survivor recounts the moment she took cover under a pew as Kelly entered the church, Bridget Burke reports. The congregation at the First Baptist Church was singing on Sunday morning when Devon Patrick Kelly came calling. At first they thought they heard fireworks but soon realised a gunman was spraying the outside of the building with bullets. Parishioners began shouting at each other to take cover under the pews. Then the gunman came inside, shooting a camera crew first and then one by one killing children who screamed out. People are whispering, he's in here, he's in here, everybody's crying and you know, he's in... And I could see, I, I looked like that, I could see him, you know, but I could see him, I was hiding under the benches and I could see him, uh, uh, his feet walking back and forth and through the aisles. Now, I didn't want to get shot. Survivor Rosanna Solis made a last minute decision to attend the service with her husband on Sunday morning. She was shot in the shoulder but says she's one of the lucky ones. Because the Lord want, it doesn't want me yet, that's why, because he doesn't want to take me yet. When it's your time, you go. When it's not your time, you don't go. And I was lucky, one of the lucky ones. Christopher Coombs, the FBI agent leading the investigation into the massacre, said it was facing challenges unlocking murderer Devin Patrick Kelly's iPhone. So we flew that on a DPS plane, plane last night to Quantico. They're in the process of looking at the phone. Unfortunately, at this point in time, we are unable to get into that phone. So it actually highlights an, an issue that you've all heard about before with the advance of the technology and the phones and the encryptions Law enforcement, whether it's at the state, local or the federal level, is increasingly not able to get into these phones. Mr Coombs said last month's massacre in Las Vegas and Sunday's tragedy showed mass shootings were on the rise and Americans needed to be wary. I think everybody, no matter where you are, needs to think about this. If you're in a school, if you're in a college, if you go to the movies, we should all be thinking about what are we going to do if a crisis breaks out right here? Meanwhile, Senator John Cornyn said in light of the massacre, he planned to introduce legislation to ensure criminal records were processed in a national database. Uh, there are areas of consensus, and that has to do with the background check system, keeping guns out of the hands of people with mental illness, uh, convicted felons, people who commit domestic violence. But tragically, uh, we saw the, the system fail. Um, and 26 people are now dead, 20 more wounded as a result of the tragedy that occurred in, in Texas on uh, this last Sunday. We intend to work with colleagues and the administration to come up with legislation that will both ensure the fact that the federal government, particularly the Department of Defense and all the military branches, comply with the law and upload this information through the uh, uniform code of military justice proceedings like the court martial this shooter went through, uh, that all of those are uploaded into the, uh, the background uh, database. The victims of Sunday's shooting ranged in age from 18 months to 77. 20 others were wounded, including 10 who remain in a critical condition in hospital. For Checkpoint, Bridget Burke.